Nurturing and developing talent is a key role for MCC, and this was no different in 2015. The club's young cricketers program and university scheme continue to produce first class and international cricketers. I was at Cardiff for four years, uh, studied uh, biomedical science and yeah, brilliant to be part of the MCCU scheme. Definitely sort of developed me off the field, but also as a cricketer, it gave me the chance just to really train while studying and um, develop me a lot, yeah. I think the university scheme helps players both on and off the field. I think it's really important that players go to university, um, obviously to get a good qualification behind them, but the likes of Mark Patini, who, who've gone through the, the, the scheme here at Cardiff, will have benefited from the sports science and medicine input that they'd have had from their scheme. They've, they'll be fitter players, they'll have spent a lot of time with coaches in really good facilities and their cricket will not have regressed by the time the, come, the summer comes around. They'll have developed over the, over the winter months to play some first class cricket and that can only be good for their cricket development. In the MCCU University Challenge final, Billy Root stole the show. The younger brother of England batsman Joe smashed a phenomenal 69 ball 135 to help Leeds Bradford defeat Cardiff by 117 runs. It was a good year for the Root family as Billy also made his county debut for Nottinghamshire. In the women's final, Loughborough once again dominated proceedings. They faced Exeter on the nursery ground looking to win their fifth title in five years. England's Anya Shrubsole helped reduce Exeter to 11 for 2 before they recovered to 186 for 7 from their 50 overs. In reply, Loughborough got off to a good start. Half centuries from England duo Natalie Skyver and Georgia Elwes secured victory with 22 overs to spare. The MCC young cricketers saw the end of an era this summer when Mark Elaine stepped down as MCC head coach after nearly seven years in charge. The former England all-rounder helped develop many young players in his time at the club. And it was good news for Adam Hose, who graduated from the scheme last summer, as he was awarded a 14-month contract at Somerset. The MCC Schools versus England Schools Cricket Association match saw a thrilling victory for MCC. Bradley Lynch top-scored for MCC with 68 as they chased down Eskers 219 but not before a stutter, which saw Tyler Meyer hold his nerve at the death to hit the winning runs with one ball to spare as MCC scampered across the line eight wickets down. It was the first time since 2011 that MCC had won this fixture. For more great videos from Lords, please subscribe.